Okay, so let's uh, head up to this barn which we saw before we checked out the down helicopter. And we'll see if we can stock up on some of the loot. Some basic supplies. So we'll start getting some zombies up here. To slow down a little bit. A couple there. Little monkey zombie and a couple of the regular walkers. Let's work out the best approach to this barn. Maybe at the far end there. That zombie's heading away from us to the left. See if we can get across to that other entrance. Here's some flies in here, not a good sign. Let's be, be careful. Some dead zombies. That means someone's been here or is here already. I'm just going to check these quickly. I don't think there's anything on them. There's a dead body out here somewhere. Sounds like it's outside the uh, cow shed, around the other side, from where we approached from. I don't know, this zombie's seen me. I'm going to have to give my position away here. Let's maybe have a quick look down here first, before we fire the weapon. The dead zombie. Nothing I can use there really. Some firewood. Got a few supplies here. A little bit of uh, canned food and soft drink. Some pasta. I'll drink that. Or let's put the pasta in. And I'll drink one of these cans. Pick up the other one. Let's have a look around here, see if we can spot that uh, dead body that we... There's got to be one in the area here. Although, sometimes uh, if people hide the dead body or if it disappears, you do seem to get the sound of the buzzing flies for quite a while afterwards even though the body's disappeared. Okay, we're probably going to get quite a few more zombies now coming in here. This AKM is not the most stealthy of weapons to use. It's Pretty loud and uh, does attract the zombies quite a bit. Got some more zombies coming. I think there might be one more zombie out there somewhere. A couple more actually. These ones must have been down in the field or something. Okay. So just trying to remember which direction we were heading in before we came here. It's 
bit hard to see the compass sometimes. The light seems to reflect off it and you can't see through the glare. Unless it's just a graphical glitch. Oh, some more zombies coming. Unbelievable. So we are right next to the town. They must just be spawning in there and then coming up here. So we want to head across this way, I think. We'll just head out of town and this zombie can chase us if he wants. We'll take him out somewhere away from where all the other zombies are going to be spawning in. Let's uh, maybe head back across to that uh, helicopter one last time and see if we've got anything new down there. Uh, as I've said before, if you do revisit a place after a few minutes, sometimes you get some loot, some new loot uh, dropping in. There's a few new uh, zombies over there. Plus we could probably get some uh, ammo if we get lucky off the zombies, off the military zombies, if we take them out. It's a little bit hard to aim uh, for the long shots after you've been running because you tend to be out of breath and waving the gun around a little bit. This would be a good, uh, a good place to use something like a sniper rifle, take them out from a distance. Here we go. Damn, I only get a headshot on that one. I'm pretty sure that these zombies have extra, let's get out of here, have extra armor on them from the regular zombies. Lucky I got plenty of, of uh, ammunition for this AKM. Let's see what we've got here. Nothing. Sometimes you can pick up grenades and stuff off these dudes. I've got some Stenag ammo. I don't I don't use that in this weapon though. Uh tin can. Why did I pick that up? I think we've got a zombie left up here somewhere. Not anymore. He's got nothing on him. And nothing there either. I'll just have a quick look at the chopper here. I don't really have high hopes though because of how many I've found that have had absolutely nothing dropping around them. But hopefully they fix this in a later update. Yeah, there's nothing here. Because it was working for a while there and then it stopped. Anyway, let's get back on the road again, and we'll head down to the next area. Check this one. He's 
got nothing there. Yeah, we'll just keep heading uh, west, southwest, and towards the northwest airfield, where we'll hopefully get some, uh, we will get some good gear when we get there. If we survive, that is. Okay, so we're just uh, pushing on here. Heading uh, west. And, uh... It's a long, long way to the northwest airfield, but we'll get there. I'll keep an eye out for uh, any animals that we can uh, butcher as well, try and get some more meat. This is a very big open field up ahead here. Let's eat a little bit of uh, canned food that we've got. So we don't have to worry about the food bar increasing. Stick a bit more of the cooked stuff in the inventory there. Probably need to find a well at some point or a lake where I can refill my water bottle, but I've got plenty of canned drinks if I need them. Alright, let's get across this field as quickly as we can. Because we're going to be uh, standing out like a sore thumb if there's anyone in the area here. What time of day is it? Mid-afternoon. I think this is the direction that we want to head in. Can't see any animals down there. Oh, just heard a shot. I'm going to head back to these trees. It was uh, kind of up ahead. Where we were heading before, up the top of that hill, I think. Let's be uh, very, very careful here. It sounded like it might have been an M1911. The dude might have either been uh, shooting off zombies or killing an animal. I don't think he would have been shooting at me from that kind of distance with an M1911. I'll just try and spot him if I can. It wasn't super close, but he might be up there in those trees over that, over the brow of that hill maybe. I don't want to be surprised though because... Most people that you meet in this game will definitely shoot on sight. It's a bit hard to see anyone up there. Hopefully he didn't see me, but... I'm not going to take that chance that he didn't. Just scope it out. Move up a little bit here. I'm just listening. Can't hear, hear any other gunshots. Can't see through those, through those uh, weeds. Let's have a look over in this direction. I think he's pretty much up there somewhere, but we want to head down in that direction. We'll probably be okay if we make a dash for the southwest. I think we'll be moving away from him. Him or her. Let's not be sexist. If we run straight in those trees there and then just keep going. We'll probably be pretty right. I don't see anyone. It's kind of lucky. That I did hear that shot because. 
The worst thing is when you get surprised by someone. So we head back around this way. And then we'll circle around in the direction we're actually going in. And try and have a look here again. I can't see anyone following me down that hill. He's probably long gone by now. Yeah. I think... I think we're pretty safe to... Uh, to just uh, move back into the trees and then uh, keep heading on our merry way. But I'll be keeping an eye out, that's for sure. I don't see anyone coming down that hill, so it may be that he's just kept going in the other direction up there. But, uh, I mean, a single gunshot like that is... Uh, pretty weird. Let's have one more look. Pretty sure that's the area the gunshot came from. Okay, anyway, let's just head west and uh, slightly south, and then we should eventually end up uh, making our way to the northwest airfield where we'll no doubt encounter even more players 